Hello, so I just wanted to make a quick video on how to use the animation retargeting tool. So the first step is to import an animation rig into the scene. I then import the FBX which contains the animation. So this file contains a skeleton and the animation data or the mocap data. And as you can see the skeleton is huge. So I'm just going to add this to a group node and then scale it down. So it roughly matches the animation rig. I'm just going to create some layers to make it a little bit easier for me to work with. Okay. I'm just going to tweak the position of the skeleton a little bit. I want the hips and the spine to be roughly in the same position as the animation rig. And then move it back. Something like that. Okay, so we're going to start with the feet. So I'm going to select the foot joint and then the foot controller and then create an IK connection. One thing I should mention is that the IK connection node currently only works when you're retargeting from a skeleton to an animation rig. It currently doesn't work when you're trying to retarget from a rig to another rig. So I'm going to select the rotation node here and tweak it a little bit so it so the uh, foot of the rig matches the skeleton. And then I'm going to do the next foot. So I select the joint and the controller and create IK connection. And then tweak the position. Okay, and then we're going to do the pole vector. So pole vectors, we only need the rotation. So I select the joint, the controller, uncheck the rotation, and I still align to position because I want the node to snap to the joint. Same here. And as you can see, the node is snapping to the joint and I just drag it out to prevent any weird bends when we're playing the animation. And then the hands, we do the same here. Translation, rotation, align to position, to snap it into position and then we tweak the nodes. Same here and as you can see it's tweaking the rotation so it's more closely to the actual skeleton. And for the torso, the chest, I'm only going to do rotation here. So I'm going to uncheck the translation and I don't want to align to position so I'm going to uncheck that and create a regular connection. And same for the head or the neck. Create the connection. And then we're going to do the same for the, the clavicles. Oh, and then we're going to do the pole vectors for the arms. And same as before, only translation, align to position, and we create a normal connection. Same here. And now we only have the hips left. So I need to select the hip joint. And then we want the rotation, translation, and we don't want to align to position. We don't want the node to snap to the skeleton. Oh, I forgot to select both the joint and the controller. And now create the connection. And that's it. So if I play the animation now, you can see that the skeleton with the mocap is driving the animation rig. So everything is connected. Everything is constrained to the skeleton. And what you can do now is you can still tweak the pose of the character if you want. So if I go to the spine here, select it, and tweak the rotation, and the head. And if I play the animation now, you can see that the Spider Man is looking at his feet when he's jumping around. And this is very powerful because you can tweak the poses of the character before you bake it to the rig. And let's bake.
can do you wish to proceed we click yes and it's going to delete all these nodes and bake the animation to the animation rig and we're done so if I delete the mocap file now, or the mocap node you can see that all the animation have been baked to the animation rig so I just wanted to show another quick thing so when you have all the connections here you created connection nodes between the skeleton and the animation rig you can save this scene and you will save all the connections and then you can just load whichever mocap files that you have for that skeleton so I'm gonna click here and then you have to select FBX as the file type and then in the bottom you have include and then you click update animation and import and it will update the animations it won't break anything it won't add any more uh, nodes into the scene it would only update animation on skeleton and now as you can see it's playing another animation I'll do it again just to show you click here and import and yeah that's it thanks for watching I'll see you later